Hi, this is Ritesh. In this session, I'm going to demonstrate the backup and recovery of the OCR. So let us look at some of the commands we would be dealing in administering OCR. To see the current location of OCR, we do the OCR check. Now, the OCR check uh, not only lists the current uh, location of the your OCR file, but it also does an integrity check, like you see over here. There's another such tool uh, to do the integrity check is the cluster verify tool. Now, as you see over here, there's only one OCR disk configured. The, uh, the OCR mirror is not configured. Well, Oracle strongly recommends that you use OC, uh, mirrored OCRs if the underlying storage is not RAID. This prevents the OCR from becoming the single point of failure. Now let us add an OCR mirror to this. I go to the slash OCR directory and I see this, the current location, the current file to add the o, uh, to add the OCR mirror I do an OCR config replace OCR mirror and then the OCR file name okay we would get an error here yes um, well, uh, for some reason, OCR, uh, you know, the OCR config already exists. Uh, uh, you know, it already expects a, a file to be existing. Um, so what we do is we merely touch this file, and then we rerun the same command. Okay, now we do an OCR check. Now you see over here that the two files have been added and both the files have their integrity, integrity check passed. Okay. Um, okay. The other thing is that the OCR has to uh, be up when you add the OCR mirror. Okay. Let's uh, move on now. Now let's see uh, the command to show the OCR backups. To do that, we do an OCR config show backup. Well, the Oracle Clusterware automatically creates an OCR backup every four hours. At any point of time, the Oracle always uh, retains the last three backup of the OCR. Well, the reason why you do not see the last four hours backup over here, uh, basically this is a training system that I use at my home. So this one, I you know usually bring it up only when there's a need. So uh, on a running or live uh, production uh, box or a test or dev where you ha always have the server running, you would see that the OCR backups are taken every four hours. So the last uh, three backups, this, this and this, these three are retained for every four hours. I mean the backup are taken every four hours. And these four R backups are retained for the the last three occurrences of these are retained. Well, the CRSD process is the one that creates a backup. You would also see a daily, weekly, and a monthly backup. On a Unix-based uh, machine, you would find the backup location. The default backup location is the CRS home slash C data slash the cluster the cluster name. The cluster name is the name that you have provided during the installation of the clusterware. So let's have a look over here. Okay. 
like here you see the last three backups are there and then you would have the weekly the daily and if you have the uh, CRS running long enough you'll have the monthly backup as well like I said this is a test machine so I don't have those many backups well apart from the auto backup that the CRS uh, takes there are uh, ways we can manually take the backup of the OCR as well well uh, if the backup or if the OCR is located on a raw device we use the DD command to do it so the syntax goes like this DD uh, then an IF that's the input file equals the raw partition name space and then OF is the output file name equals any um, mount point slash the file name where you want to dump the contents of the raw file in case your, uh, your OCR is on a clustered file system like the OCFS we can use the normal copy or the tar commands to back back up your OCR apart from that um, let me just give you an example like uh, like in a regular database you, you have an export and an import dump file you can similarly do a, an export uh, of the OCR file so let's just do that now we do an OCR config export TMP that's just uh, this just for for example OCR export dot DMP. Okay, the export backup is done. Usually store this in a safe location, not like the slash DMP that I've used. Now uh, let's take a backup of your OCR um, using the cp command so I go to the we find out the location create a backup directory okay now the backup is done now let's shut down the CRS Okay. Um, see, the reason why uh, I shut down the CRS is I'm trying to simulate a situation over here. Like, uh, in case the server has actually had a power failure, and in that power failure, the OCR, um, let's say all your OCR files are lost, and then what actually happens when you uh, bring up the server, and what's the, what would be the status of your CRS? let's have a look at it so what I'm going to do is to simulate the failure I'm going to move these files into disco BKP so CRS is down and you have lost your um, OCR files. Now let's try to bring up your CRS and see what happens. Okay, let's check the CRS stat. Yeah. 
interface cannot communicate with the CRSD one. Okay, there's an option to check if uh, the if the CRS had any issues starting the uh, while the startup. So we do a CRS sit here check boot. So here it throws the error actually. So like you see over here it says the OCR was unable to you know, we could not fire basically find the OCR file over here. 